Hi there. Welcome to the Schwoven's Nest. My name is Sandra, and I'm so glad you're here. My first project for you today is using one of these Dollar Tree frames. I'm going to remove the back, but hang on to it because I'm going to need it later. I've got a red and black buffalo check piece of scrapbook paper, and I'm just going to use my craft knife to cut around the outside of the backing, and that will give me what I need for inside the frame. Using a glue stick to cover the backing, I'm going to attach the paper and smooth it out. If you wanted, you didn't even need to glue this on. You could just place it inside the frame and then switch it out every year with a different paper. Put the frame back in the glass and then we're going to work on embellishing the front. I picked up these wooden Christmas trees at my Dollarama store. They carried a whole bunch of different shapes that are much thicker wood, small like this, perfect for embellishing a frame. I'm simply going to hot glue the two smaller ones to the outside and put a larger one on the inside. Once that's done, I've got a wooden star that came in a different pack, but they're the same type as the trees. I'm going to cover the top of it with the buffalo check paper, and I'm just going to use a glue stick. But this time I'm going to put the paper on top of the star and then use my craft knife to cut out the angles. I'm going to glue the star to the top of the frame, and this craft is complete. Quick easy and super cute. I'd like to take a moment and thank all of my current subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to stick around by hitting that red subscribe button too. My second project for you today is using one of these Dollar Tree signs. The first thing I'm going to do is just take a piece of regular printer paper and glue it into the inside just to make sure that I can cover up that comfort and joy words. They're really dark with the glitter, but I didn't want to take the time to sand off any of the glitter because then it just gets all over the place. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this piece of green and white buffalo check paper. I created this on my computer and a free printable will be available on my website. My link is down in the description box. I found these rounded squares at the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to take one and cover it top to bottom with some white chalk paint. I'm going to make sure I do the edges as well because you will see that. I'm not going to worry about the back though because that's going to be glued onto my sign. I found this beautiful ribbon at the Dollar Tree. It looks like burlap, but it's really soft and these white snowflakes are just so adorable. So what I'm going to do is just cut some strips and then using hot glue, I'm going to glue one across as you see me doing here and then I'm going to flip it and do one across again, just making a cross pattern on it so it looks like a present. Now I'm simply going to glue the present onto the sign. Once that's done, I'm just going to make a shoestring bow with a little bit more of the ribbon and glue it onto the top of the present. And this turns out super cute and so easy to do. The last detail for this sign, just to make it look a little bit more finished, was to take some of my hunter green paint and just do the edges. Nothing else, just make sure that I just get the edges, not even the back, all the way around the sign. And it just took it up another level and made it look a little bit nicer.
For this project, I grabbed a couple of these ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I'm only going to use one of them. So I'm just gonna put the other aside and I'm gonna take that same hunter green paint that I used on the border of the green sign and I'm gonna give this a really good coat. Just one coat will do, but I just put it on a little bit thicker in some spots to make sure I covered up all of that glitter. The last time I went to the Dollar Tree, I was at a totally different store that I had not been to in a really long time. And I found one of these tart pans or bottle caps or whatever you want to call them. Anyhow, I was so excited to find one. What I'm going to do is take some black and white buffalo check paper and I'm going to put that on the bottom of this little tart bottle cap. Again, I'm just using a glue stick, but I'm just going to make sure that I get all of the edges really well because I want them to stick. In order to fit the tree into the pan, I did have to trim off some of the branch at the bottom, and then I just used some hot glue and placed it right in the center. Using a small brush with a little bit of white paint, I'm just going to dab over the ends of these little branches. I don't want to cover the whole thing, I just want the tips of them to be white. I also painted the tree trunk brown just with some burnt umber acrylic paint. I added a red berry to the top of the tree and made a hanger from black and white gingham ribbon. Again, super easy and super cute. I also hot glued some snow to the bottom of the pan and this is another super cute and super easy DIY. Next, I'm going to use this little canvas from the Dollar Tree. I found this gorgeous red ribbon at Michael's, so I'm going to use that to frame out the sign just to cover up the canvas because then I don't have to bother taking it off. And this turns out really sweet. I just love the effect of this. When I get to the top all the way around again, I'm going to create a little loop and that will be used for hanging the sign. I cut off the excess and then turned the ribbon onto itself as you see me doing here and hot glued it into place. The picture in the frame is going to be this adorable vintage Santa that I found on Pixabay. I'll have that linked down in my description box as well. So I'm just going to cut him out and size him to the inside of the canvas. I wanted the Santa picture to kind of slide inside the frame and so I just kind of fiddled with it until I figured out how to get it. And you just kind of bend your paper a little bit and then push it in towards the top and then the bottom just kind of falls into place. I am going to tack it down with a little bit of hot glue. Next, I grabbed a couple different sizes of the cubes you can get at the Dollar Tree, and I painted the smaller ones green and the larger ones red. I'm going to then use my chalk marker and another permanent marker to create the little crosses on them that signify the ribbon. These were a little too small to actually add real ribbon, and I didn't have any baker's twine that would do the trick. Once the little gifts were dry, I hot glued them into the one corner of the sign. I kind of staggered them a little bit and I added one on the top, a little kitty wampus, and then I decided to paint up another one and put that one a little bit on an angle as well. Then I added little bits of greenery and a couple of jingle bells, and this sign is done.
project number five is using this Dollar Tree sign. This is found in the wedding section and they normally carry these year round. Now I went ahead and I painted it a few times with my DIY chalk paint, but at the end of it all, you could still see the outline of those reception letters. So if you wanna paint it, then I would suggest doing a little bit of sanding and making it really nice and smooth. I have a bunch of little wooden trees. Some of them came from the Dollar Tree, some of them came from Dollarama. What I'm doing is just trimming off the little star shape on the top, just making a point on each of the trees. I wanted to have five different shapes of trees, but I didn't have any others besides the two you see down there. So I took a wooden star and I cut down some of the sides on it so it would just be a triangle and you can see here I'm just using my box cutter to just go ahead and score and cut through all the way these wooden pieces are super easy to get through they're from the Dollar Tree or Dollarama and they're not as thick as some of the other ones that you can find so I'm just going to do this for two of the trees Once that was done, I took three different colors of acrylic paint and I'm dipping my brush into some water first so I get more of a stain or a washed effect on the trees. I didn't want them to be a solid color. I'm also making sure that I get all around the edges and I'm going to do the backs as well. I figured out how I wanted my trees to stick out off from this sign and now I'm just going to use some hot glue and then glue them to the back. So I'm starting with this beautiful one in the center. I'm going to do the just the regular angled ones on either end and then I'm going to put the two smaller ones on the top. So you can just follow along as I'm doing this. For the little trees at the front, you saw me take my miter shears and I just trimmed off the trunk. As I said earlier, you could still see the word reception. So I'm taking some of this scrapbook paper and I'm going to just use my glue stick and glue it right onto the sign. I'm also going to add a little end of the arrow because my paper wasn't long enough. I'm just going to put that on and then use my craft knife to trim off all the extra edges. When you're crafting, sometimes things just don't work out as you planned, so you just have to go with the flow. Using a small paintbrush and some white paint, I'm just going to go around the edges like this to make it look like they're kissed with a little bit of snow. The last part of this project is to go ahead and add some words. So I'm going to write the words Christmas tree farm. I'm just going to freehand it and give it a little bit of quirky letters. I'm going to do Christmas in more of a cursive font and then I'll add a few other details down at the bottom. You can also see that I painted the brown legs on this. I used burnt umber and I just gave it a little bit of a dry brush so the little posts that hold the sign up would look like little tree trunks. If you're not good at doing freehand, there are tons of different ways that you can add font to your projects. I have a tissue paper printable tutorial down in my description box. So that would be a really easy way to put some lettering on here. Just print it off on tissue paper and put it on with some Mod Podge. The tissue paper blends right into the paper or any of your project and you don't even notice that it's there. You could also just print it off on regular paper and scratch the back with some pencil and then go over it with a pen on the front to leave a pencil line on your project and then go over it with marker that way. I hope you enjoyed these really cute dollar store makeovers. I had a lot of fun creating them. If you like this type of content, I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up. That gets me noticed a little bit more on YouTube and helps my channel grow. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.